Welcome back to Killer Frame Reviews. It has been a bit, hasn't it? Without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Today's Killer Film Review is on the movie 3,000 Years of Longing. About a romance between a, perf a woman and a djinn, or genie. Dr. Alethea Beanie, Tilda Swinton, is a person content with logic and reason. When she encounters a djinn, also known as a genie, Idris Elba, that offers three wishes in exchange for freedom, this causes problems because she must debate between logic and fantasy, which oftentimes many cannot debate between the both of them because the djinn is right in front of her and she can't believe it with her own eyes and that's just crazy. Director George Miller as well as writers George Miller along with uh, Augusta Gore as well. Looks like let's get some stats of the way we got box office gross right now is 2.9 mil runtime 1 hour 48 minutes rating rated R Oof, duh, for many, many different reasons. There's some uh, adult content in this at one point. So yeah, I'm gonna do the best that I can to make this not require the 18 plus filter. So this film basically kind of goes through like the 1000 Arabian Nights kind of thematic where it's different short stories. You got the story of the Queen, uh, Queen Shiva you basically find that King, that uh, the Dijin was uh, was basically in love with her, pretty much. Pretty much in love with her, but Solomon is portrayed as some sort of wizard, which are those that believe in Christianity, obviously, is went false for many reasons, you know. Solomon was wise, known for his wisdom, and so forth. But, yes. Oh, boy. But, yeah, that aside, you know, this film does does have a heavy Middle Eastern feel to a heavy influence of Islam in it, which is okay. I have an open mind when it comes to films. I know, no complaints there. <clears throat> so basically, the first romance between the Queen Shiva, and then basically Solomon wins her over. Magician Solomon rather wins her over by playing his little weird instrument or whatever. Some, it's revealed that. Um, oh wait, that begin with two. You kind of learn that her origin and who her parents were kind of a little bit. A lot of stuff that goes it's involved with the main plot that I don't want to spoil. Genie gets kind of sealed away in the bottle. Then we move on to the next story. Which I believe was not the scholar. It was... Ah, uh, yes, it was the, the servant girl. The servant girl basically got, basically kind of wanted to marry the prince, the pauper girl. I will say it. Wanted to marry the prince. Prince's father did not like that. Prince's father got kind of manipulated. You'll kind of learn the reasons why when you see the film. I'm not trying to give too much away. I want you to enjoy this film. I don't want too much of it spoiled. And yes, we are playing the sun's on because it's the closest wackiest ship I can get right now since we don't really have a genie camo on anything. Basically, you end up with different stories from the genie. 
that's why it says like 3,000 years long because you're going from BC to AD essentially and it's about balancing out between what's right and what's wrong for part of it. Is it right to wish? Is it wrong to wish? Wishing cause unintended consequences. I might just add that I was at a movie theater which I was fine was kind of not in the best of conditions. But it is what it is. Basically, it's in like some rundown mall area, to say the least. Our team has taken the lead. Why I go to this movie theater, you ask? Well, maybe because no flame of mine worked there at one point. That's about it. You kind of remember these things after a time. Sometimes you want to reminisce in the past a little bit. But yes, in the mall, there's not much left at the moment. Other things just closed, but the movie theater hangs on. Which is nice. It's like National Cinema Day when I went to sign or whatever. Oh boy. Tilda Swift in. Great acting in this film. So was Idris Elba. But yes, basically, I would say location-wise, you take you go all the way over the Middle East, you go... Turkey is one of the starting locations, then you go to Great Britain later on. You went to this woman, basically. How did you imagine your friend when she was uh, younger? Imagine there's an African-American boy or whatever. Oh, but the acting was so on par. I think one of the things that gets lost these days is that you need to have an open mindset when you're viewing a film and not just see everything through one lens, not through just one viewpoint, but to just try to enjoy the film for what it is. You know, it's, it's, so many people get lost these days is that. It's not just, just because you believe one thing doesn't mean you can't enjoy something else. You know, it's, it's that kind of idea, but... Yes, there is a lot of um, nudity in this film. And a certain point in the third story. When I get to the story about the princes, you do not want the kids in the room to say the least. They shouldn't even be there in the first place. Yes, but when you get to the story of the princes, that is when you need to avert your eyes, pretty much. Mm -mm. Let's just say one of the princes is like Nakado Avocado, but instead for sex, pretty much. Very, you'll, you'll learn when you watch the film. I'm not going to get into details here. But yes, is the film worth watching? Yes. It's rated R for a reason, though, and you should respect that and not watch it if you're under the age of 17. Unless you're very mature for your age, and you're accompanied by a parent or guardian. But yes, a thousand years of longing. Is it worth watching? Yes. I do apologize for the lack of uploads. I'm doing my best to get videos out on all the channels as best as I can. I do work a rigorous schedule in a factory and I am doing the best I can to get videos out for you guys. Be patient. And I'll have another video out for you as soon as I can. Just know that going is going to be a little rough for a while, but I'm doing the best that I can. Thank you for your support as always, and I hope that you all have a fantastic day. And good luck in your work weeks, as a lot of us do different shifts, whether it be 8-hour, 10-hour, 12-hour. So good luck to you all in your shifts, and yes, this film is definitely a 9 out of 10. Good action, good story, is definitely worth watching. Definitely bring your significant other, as it will make more sense that way. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you.